Thank you so much. We can remain standing as uh, uh, the most anointed person this morning gives us an opening prayer, and that is none other than Assistant Commissioner Agnes Navire Asovola. Let's humble ourselves and pray. Merciful Father, we want to thank you for this morning. Thank you for gathering us in this place. Lord, the agenda we have before us is to discuss matters concerning investments that will enable us to reach them and bring returns to this nation. Lord, we want to thank you for the far that you've helped Uganda Revenue Authority Thank you for the stakeholders that have supported us to carry out our mandate. And Lord, even as we discuss and we appreciate this initiative, I pray that your, your presence will be here to give us understanding and the way that we should embrace this initiative to help us do our work better. We thank you and we bless you for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. may take our seats. Jesus is in, is in this place, and I would like to propose a thunderous round of applause for Agnes. Asante sana. Yes, for uh, our friends who are coming to this, our beautiful country for the very first time, that is how we deliver appreciation in Uganda. We just say, Asante Sana, then the magic happens. Maybe by the time you are done with this particular conference, that is one of the things you will potentially uh, export back home. Um, we do have, at some point, a very beautiful discussion that will be uh, moderated by the Wood Mackenzie Prize winner, our very own Tracy Akello. And uh, the time will come for that to happen. And uh, of course, we do have friends from uh, HMRC, Ian Black and Gareth Morgan, that will be uh, sharing extensively about what we are actually discussing here today. Uh, they'll be joined by Mr. Alex Biarohanga from the Ministry of Justice and uh, Ms. Pamela Natamba from uh, PWC and, uh, of course, the CPA of the year, Sarah M. Chelangat, who is also the Commissioner of uh, Domestic Taxes at Uganda Revenue Authority. And uh, without wasting another minute, please allow me to invite the Commissioner Tax Investigations to give context to the reason for why we are gathered here today. Mr. Dennis Kugonza, this is your moment. Our chief guest of honor, representative of the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, our Commissioner General, Uganda Revenue Authority, Senior Management of URA, our guests today, you are welcome and good morning. I welcome you all to the launch of the Frontier Disclosure Program. This is specifically giving us an opportunity to, re to resident taxpayers to voluntarily declare incomes, accounts, and assets earned, owned and controlled outside Uganda, 
prior to the automatic exchange of information in September 2025. Our automatic exchange of information is a law which was passed uh, this year in July, and it is, uh, has, been, uh, has been also been completed in other countries across the world, as uh, the presentation will show uh, later. We started planning for voluntary disclosure program since 2021 with technical assistance from experts of HMRC, that is His Majesty's Revenue and Customs, Revenue and Customs in the UK, and the plaintiffs are here, you're welcome. You're coming so much. URA has since prepared required tools, such as enabling legislation, policies, procedures, stakeholder and client consultation strategies, processes and systems, among others, to enable the foreign asset voluntary disclosure, which will be discussed in detail by the panelists and also by the other presentation. Part of URA team that has undertaken, has undertaken specialized training to implement the AUR VDP in this room. They were drawn from different departments, including legal department, business and policy, international taxation, large taxpayers' office, public and corporate affairs, tax investigations, to help understand this, this process, this new law which has come up that today will be discussed in detail and will be able to understand and see how it will help both government and also the business community and taxpayers. I would like to appreciate the tax investigation team that has been working tirelessly to ensure that the law is put in place and also this function of today. I would like to sincerely appreciate the assistant commissioners of TID, Agnes Nawira, who is here, can stand up for recognition. She has been here before. Uh, Mr. Julius Mkwasire, Assistant Commissioner and Tax Investigations, is standing by. And the team of TID Tax Investigation that is here, please, you can stand up. I thank you so much for your efforts to reach this far. I would like also to appreciate fellow URA staff, especially members of senior management, uh, Mr. Abel Kagumire, Commissioner of Customs, Mr. Richard Kalisa, Commissioner uh, Corporate Services, has been here with us, Commissioner Sarah Chirangat, Commissioner of Domestic Taxes, and who will be the main implementer of this law and the whole process. As URA, we are ready to facilitate you to conveniently enjoy the voluntary disclosure window for foreign incomes and assets. We wouldn't want you to cross to 2025 without receiving your voluntary declarations of offshore incomes and assets information. Because as tax investigator, we'll be there to check if there is poor compliance. I hereby welcome you to enjoy this event and let's build Uganda together. I thank you. Again, I'll propose that we do it the Ugandan way in appreciation of the Commissioner Tax Investigation. Asante Sana! Amazing. And uh, the journey continues because next on our program is uh, the manager who is in charge of exchange of information at uh, Uganda Revenue Authority. He is a distinguished taxman who has been around for quite a significant time doing the most. And uh, he's going to give us a powerful presentation on how all of this is going to work. AEOI, VDP, or should we say automatic exchange of information, 
voluntary disclosure program. It's none other than Mr. David Dongo. Chief Guest, the Commissioner General, URI Senior Management and Staff, our dear invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Yeah, it's a pleasure to stand before you today, this morning, to speak about uh, the automatic exchange of information and the voluntary disclosure program. I'll take a few minutes just to set the context in addition to uh, what the Commissioner Customs has highlighted. And then we shall have a follow-up detailed discussion by the panelists. David Dongo is my name, as I had been introduced. And I'll take you through a short presentation. Yeah, briefly, I will take you through uh, what automatic exchange of information is. And then uh, Uganda's uh, journey to implementing the automatic exchange of information. And what the VDP is. And why it is an opportunity for us. You know, the world has now become increasingly globalized, and this has given an opportunity to businesses, a straightforward opportunity to move their financial activities around the world. And this has given an opportunity to taxpayers to easily facilitate their transactions around the world. But as much as this has come through easily, as well, uh, it has given an opportunity to some traders or clients to be able to hide their assets across the world. Now, of course, if you have incomes and assets in jurisdictions that are outside Uganda, you deny Uganda the opportunity of increased revenue that can facilitate uh, the public service delivery, but as well, somehow, uh, it turns, it creates a dent on the tax system of Uganda. Now, that's why countries came together under the Global Forum to set up some international tax standards. And these ta standards are categorized into two, the automatic exchange of information and then the exchange of information on request. I will dig a little bit more into the automatic exchange of information. Uh, but just to mention, the, the exchange of information on request is when the countries uh, request for information on, fi on financial accounts and assets at a bilateral level, and then this information is used for only tax purposes. Uh, the automatic exchange of information, this was an initiative that was agreed as an international standard, and uh, it started with the, the G20 under the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, where countries agreed and have a consensus on automatic exchange of financial information for tax purposes on a reciprocal.